This is a novel way to control and adjust a quadcopter. So, taking a remote has a three-axis axis accelerometer, and you can control things like a rover if you only have two axes you really want to control. If you want to add more control, plug it into a GameCube remote, which I have a library to control on 8 megahertz and 16 megahertz Atmos. So, given a remote, you have a lot more buttons and a lot more ease of use and a lot more durability than what you have with making your own remote. And from this, I can control my quadcopter, which looks like this. So this quadcopter is made out of ABS plastic and cut out with a laser cutter from a file that I designed in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So if I take the green button, press it, and then do your regular, that starts transmission, and I can do my regular arm like an arrow quad by moving to the right. B disarms. Now for the interesting thing, you can also adjust the flight mode. So you can be in stable mode, press it again, go into acrobatic mode. It lets you know based on the spin. You have left, uh, right left for acrobatic or for stable mode and just rear for stable mode off. For the heading hold mode, if you press the X button, on spins the front, rear spins, it means it's off. That's the front. Um, now if I want to uh, set the angles, zero the angles, the modifier button that I've created is the Z button. If I hold that down and press the X, all spin it th uh, three times, that means it's ready to go. So I can take it off right here, bad idea. But the interesting thing is, if you want to configure the PID gains, usually you have to take it, plug the whole quad with a serial cable into your computer and adjust it using a MATLAB program. Very heavy, usually requires Windows. Um, but on the field, you're going to have really out of luck. It's really hard to read displays, everything like that. So here I've got a way to be able to not only adjust the PID gains, but also be able to know what they are. So if I want to go through and adjust the pitch, it lets me know by telling me front, back, front, back. And want to find out what they are, hold the modifier button, hit the left trigger. 6.0. Go to the roll. That's me know by pulsing the left, right, left, right. 6.5. If I want to write them to EEPROM, then I can just hold down the modifier button, hit, press the start button. If I want to go to the yaw PID, press it twice, and no, 12.0. Go to the uh, stable mode, and I can also go to the stable mode pitch and yaw, and then the heading hold uh, pitch. Just to have the feedback. Right then. If I want to adjust it, hold down the modifier and press the uh, directional pad. Up moves it up by 0.5. Down moves it down by 0.5. And then you can listen to it. Let's move it up by 1.5. And listen to it. Now it's at 7.0. Oh well, down by 7.5. 7.5. So it's at 8.0. So there's an interesting way, or novel way, to be able to not only control your quadcopter, but be able to adjust the bid loops on the field.